Hi, this is Wiz. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you a very interesting device that will enable you to modify some settings and preferences on your car. We read what's mentioned on the box it says diagnostic device for Audi, Volkswagen, Seat and Skoda vehicles, device connected to vehicle ODB port and use Bluetooth to communicate with Android smartphone or tablets. You have to keep in mind that this device only works for uh, Audi, Volkswagen, Seat and Skoda vehicles and only works with Android smartphones. Let's check what's inside the box. So this is the dongle. As explained, you plug it on your ODB port and it will communicate with the app on your smartphone via Bluetooth. Basically, the dongle and the application on your Android smartphone will replace the ODB cable that you usually use whenever you need or you want to modify some things on your car. Meaning that up until now, if I wanted to modify some things on my car, I had to have a laptop and then plug this cable on my laptop and the port here on the ODB of the car and then have a software and go into complex coding uh, to enables me to modify settings on the car. You don't need this anymore because you can do this very easily with this dongle and the application on your smartphone. Let's see how it works. So basically we're gonna plug the device in the ODB port of my vehicle which in my case is right over there. There you go, you have a red light turning on. And now let's look at the feature through my smartphone. We're now into my car and let's have a look at the application itself. This is how the application looks. When you create your profile and you enter the information about your car, you do actually have a picture of your car. So one of the first things you can do is perform a scan of your vehicle in order to check if everything is working fine and uh, to see if there is any error or any issue in the car. It takes a little while, it's gonna scan quite a lot of different parameters, as you can see on the bottom left there you go scan performed no issues on my car thanks god <laughs> let's check the other features now you have infos of your car i'm not gonna go into that otherwise you can see the uh, the number of my car another one that you can see the history and then if you go on the Apps, this is where the magic happens. So here you can modify quite a lot of settings and preferences on your car. Um, let's do one that I always wanted to have on my car and it's called acceleration display. If you buy an RS model you get this acceleration uh, display here where it shows you the uh, the G's when you drive your car. I've been looking how to have this enabled in my car. It is a long coding uh, and it's very complicated to find the right settings and if you fail to enter the right coding then you may have some serious issues with the uh, virtual display. So let's try to do it now. First of all let's check that I don't have that feature so I'm not able to enable the uh, sport display on the car right now. What am I going to do? I go into the um, sport display here. 
and it says enables the acceleration menu on the dashboard. Uh, it works only with S and RS model. I do have an S model, so no issues here. All I do, I enable by pressing on, and then I long press the OK button. And it says success. Let's check on the virtual cockpit, and you can see now that I have here the sport display enabled. And if I press it, there you go, I have the G-meter on my virtual cockpit. It took me literally 10 seconds and a couple of clicks on the application to enable this. This works real time, so if I go now, it says turn it off, and I press OK, have a look there, it will disappear. There you go. Again, let's turn it off. Let's stay on this menu and then turn the preference on. And I press, just have a look at the virtual cockpit. I press OK. And there you go, I can now select it. That's an interesting feature, the parking assist switch off speed. So basically, uh, by default, when you go on the reverse, you activate the, the rear camera. And then when you go forward, when you reach 10 kilometers an hour, the rear camera shuts off. I modify this feature because I want my camera to be uh, enabled for, with a higher speed. So now I can go up to 20 kilometers an hour before the camera switches off. That's a very cool one. Now you can see that the uh, acceleration display is activated and if I go on reverse then I have my rear view camera and if I go now forwards usually the camera uh, stops functioning at about 10 kilometers an hour so now if I go on and I stay under 20 kilometers an hour I still have the cameras functioning and that's really awesome because I always thought that uh, 10 kilometers an hour was not enough sometimes you need to still have that front view and the bird eye view and this is quite cool and then if you go over 20 then it switches off that's great so let's quickly have a look on some other features that you can enable Copy music from CD. So here, after activation, it is possible to copy music from CD to multimedia. So this is very, very interesting because you can't do that from the original settings. And then seat ventilation, I don't have that. Seat eating stage two. You can increase or decrease the eating temperature of the seats when two stage is activated. <laughs> That's interesting. That's a lot of things you can do. Time for opening the... Ah, here you can modify the time to long press your uh, the button on the remote to open the, the boot. So you can go from zero to five seconds. Lock and lock acoustic confirmation, automatic unlock after you put on P position. Acceleration display, we did it. AC air volume adjustment. You can increase or decrease the amount of air supplied. Wow. That's quite interesting. Uh, what else? Mirror link while in motion. If you have the mirror link option in your car, you cannot use it when you are in motion with your car and here you can tell the uh, mirroring to stay in place even if you are um, driving video in motion so this is normally not allowed and that's the reason why it says allow the, allow the passenger to watch videos while moving so 
Of course, this feature is uh, by default uh, uh, disabled, but you just go here and you go on and then you go accept. And there you go. So from now on, I should be able to watch videos while moving with the car. Obviously, this is for the passenger and not for the driver. <laughs> what else? Comfort turning signal, that's an interesting one. So by default, when you, when you uh, quick press the turning signal, it makes um, three uh, cycles of three. So you can go here and modify to have from one to five. That's a cool one. So now, let's say I wanna turn, I just give an impulsion and it gives four instead of three. And again, I could do that with just a few clicks and it took me something like 10 seconds. What else? A needle sweep, I do have that on my S model. Parking lights, Scandinavian DRL. So that's an interesting one that I would like to have turned on. So let's read what it says. Tail lights active when daytime running lights. So this is off by default. I wanna have it on. So I go here, I say on, and then long press. And there you go. So from now on, when I'm gonna drive with the daytime uh, running lights, I'm gonna have also the uh, tail lights uh, activated. That's a cool one. Let's now check if the uh, tail lights are turned on when the uh, daytime running lights are activated. So you can see here that the uh, daytime running lights are activated. And if I go on the rear, Bam! Tail lights are now always turned on. That's awesome. Let's move on. Seat belt warning. So I know that a lot of people doesn't like that to have that uh, warning when you don't have the seat belt uh, attached. But as I as I always have my seat belt attached, I'm not gonna do anything here. I'm not interested. Uh, start stop function activate or deactivate start stop function so i basically i'm okay with the start stop function but if you are annoyed by that you can deactivate it very quickly and as you can see there are quite a lot of things that you can modify on the car very quickly by simply say enable or disable on or off and then say Yes, I really love this device because it enables you to quickly modify some basic settings and preferences on your car. If you want to have this installed, just go to odb11.com, you order the device, then you download the app from the Google Store and you are ready to go. I will put in the description some promo codes for you. Don't hesitate to take advantage of it. There you go. That was a look at the ODB 11 Bluetooth device and the related app. Thumb up if you did like this video. Subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.